The games are coming thick and fast now as we gear up to take on Lask in the Europa League following our draw against City at the weekend. In today's video, we'll discuss the big, exciting revelation after a recent leak, whilst also going over all the latest Liverpool news from the last 24 hours. There is so much to cover in today's video. And hello everybody, welcome back to the channel guys, I hope you're all well. Before we do get into today's video, as always, please do smash that like button and subscribe to the channel for daily Liverpool content. With Liverpool flying Luis Diaz's parents and extended family to Merseyside for the festive season, Sunday saw his father mark an emotional 55th birthday. Following the horrific experiences that saw Luis Manuel Diaz and his wife kidnapped in Colombia, the club had given their number seven every support needed. While Marilanda, Diaz's mother, was swiftly rescued, Diaz Sr. was in the hands of a terrorist group for almost two weeks before his release. He was then reunited with his son as he watched them score twice as Colombia beat Brazil 2-1, before flying to Liverpool with his family. The club chartered a private flight for the Diaz family who will spend Christmas on Merseyside and Diaz Sr. was in the stands for Saturday's 1-1 draw with Manchester City. And the next day brought celebrations at Diaz's house with the Liverpool winger's father turning 55. Arranged by Diaz's wife, Gerard Ponce, the party brought Diaz Sr. and Marilunda together with their children, including Diaz's brother, Roller and Jesus, and sister Annie. I want to thank God for allowing me to celebrate another year of my life, Diaz Sr. wrote on Instagram. My family, my wife, my children, my daughter-in-law for making me spend this beautiful day like this. God bless you, I will always love you with all of my heart. It remains to be seen how long the Diaz family will stay in the UK, though they are expected to remain on Merseyside over Christmas and likely into the new year. Liverpool's Nike home kit for the 2024-2025 campaign will feature an all-over You'll Never Walk Alone design, and potential throwback to the 2013-2014 title-challenging season. As the year nears its end, designers and manufacturers at Nike will be working intently to sign off Liverpool's kits for the next campaign. It has already been reported that the next away kit will be darker with forest green and washed teal details, while the third kit will be white with black, yellow and red ascending. The home kit will of course be red with the reliable footy headlines, leaking a detail of a design that will be released next summer. The shirt features an all-over imposed You'll Never Walk Alone print in chrome yellow, which will also be used for the Nike swoosh and LFC badge. It is believed that the collar will be similar to the one worn during the 2013-2014 with white, yellow and red detailing. The colour scheme is the same as that used by New Balance during the 2019-2020 title winning campaign, with a deeper red than currently worn. According to Fumbler Rock, the shirt could also include white down the sides of the shirt, with graphic designers also producing mock-ups of how it could look. While the all-over design may prove decisive, if it is the finished product is similar to those mock-ups, it should be a popular race among supporters. Nike have leaned heavily into the history of the club with their kit since agreeing a deal with Liverpool back in 2020, and an upcoming collaboration with LeBron James also features You'll Never Walk Alone. Virgil van Dijk was weighted into the debate over Trent Alexander-Arnold's best position by proclaiming his Liverpool teammate as the complete package. Alexander-Arnold delivering another reminder of his attacking talents as he got forward to strike a fine equaliser for the Reds in Saturday's 1-1 draw at the Champions at Manchester City. The 25-year-old right-back had spent a lot of tight Premier League encounters in defensive mode, trying to contain City's tricky Belgian winger Jeremy Doko. It was a sweet moment for Alexander-Arnold after plenty of debate over the past fortnight over whether or how he can fit into the England team. Van Dijk, the Liverpool captain, said, I think everyone this season as a defender 1v1 against Doko will have a tough afternoon, but he's a very good dribbler. But I don't think he had a tough afternoon on the whole. It's how you defend them together and try to get them 1v1 situations, and in the end, I'm pleased for him that he got the equaliser. He offers a lot defensively and obviously in possession. He has qualities that are very special and shows that as well, so he has the complete package. He has to keep doing what he's doing, keep improving, keep that high standards, as he has for himself and we all have him for as well. Alexander-Arnold has expanded his game over the past year, not only playing as a conventional attacking fullback, but also in a hybrid defensive central midfield role. His recent England outings against Malta and North Macedonia were also in midfield, and Van Dijk admits he does not know where he will ultimately end up. He said, I don't know, that's for the coaches that work with him. I think for the moment he's playing just fine where he is right now. He has that freedom to mix it up and he has to do that because you see the teams are working it out at times. So he has to be able to switch from staying on the outside and going into the inside as well. I think it's a good learning curve for him as well. On Saturday he did that well because obviously he was playing against one of the most informed wingers at the moment. 
Saturday's result kept Liverpool within a point of title favourite City. After the frustrations of failing to challenge last season, Van Dijk hopes the 2020 champions can push them much closer this time. The Dutchman said it's no secret we want to challenge for everything. We are competing in and this year. We are looking consistent, something we were missing last year. But we are still in November with a difficult period coming up. Difficult games ahead of us. Anything can happen, but hopefully if we don't get many injuries or no injuries, we have to be confident and give it everything. Liverpool are back in Europa League action on Thursday and their visitors, Lask, will arrive with a spring in their step after a narrow 1-0 victory that keeps them in the top three. The Reds can confirm their place as group winners if the two things happen later in the week. They must first beat Lask and Toulouse must fail to win against Union saint gilles Liverpool sit top of the Group E and Lask sit bottom with three points, which they secured last time out against Union saint gilles and they will arrive at Anfield off the back of a 1-0 victory, with Thomas Sajers' aside narrowly inflicting defeat on second from the bottom WSG's trial on Saturday afternoon. The Austrian Bundesliga clash kicked off an hour and a half after Liverpool's draw at Manchester City, with captain Robert Zouk scoring the only goal of the match, his 10th of the season. Victory for Lass keeps them within five points of league leaders Salzburg in third position after 15 games, and puts them back on the winner's board after a loss last time out. Saj has deployed a similar formation to the one against the Reds in September, with a 3-4-2-1 approach returning a narrow win after scoring in the 14th minute. The performance was described by Sky Sports Austria as a lacklustre but successful dress rehearsal for their trip to Anfield with six players who faced Liverpool earlier this season involved. They had to contend with snowy conditions, something that will not be expected on Merseyside, and last do not want to be the considered the tourist for their visit. Their manager said, we don't want to go there as tourists. It's just a football game that you always have some chance of winning. We want to demand everything from there. The Austrian side expect to have left-back Rain Renner and midfielder Sasha Horovath available after illness forced their absences over the weekend. Since their meeting with Liverpool back in September, they have been inconsistent with seven wins, four defeats and three draws. Liverpool fans, what do you make of the new home kit leaks and are you for it or against it? Let me know down there in the comment section below. That brings us to the end of today's video. As always, please do smash that like button and subscribe to the channel for daily Liverpool content. Thank you, and I'll see you all next time. Take care. Peace.